What's going on, everyone? It's the Nisco. Welcome back to Danganronpa. In the last episode, we finished up Chapter 3, and a lot of stuff happened. And before we move on with the main story, let's take a look back at the three characters that lost their lives during Chapter 3. And we're going to look at a very specific person, one that did not get enough screen time, and I do apologize for that, so let's go meet him now. Welcome back to the past. Yeah, I had to come back to Chapter 2, because if you watched all of Chapter 3, you would know that Haka kind of became, uh, antisocial. When he was himself, he didn't want to talk. When he became Kiondo, he didn't want to talk. So I had to go back a chapter just to talk to Taka for the rest of his social link, and that's what we're going to be doing all of today. And just a forewarning, this is going to take a long time. We've got three people to go through in these bonus episodes. That's uh, it's quite a body count. But first things first, I've got a lot of Monokuma coins, so you know what? I'm going to head to the Mono Mono machine. I'm going to press my luck. I think I'm almost at 80%, either that or I'm already there. And there are a few presents that I don't have that I do need for Taka. And I would like some more presents when we go talk to the other two victims of Chapter 3. Let's press my luck. Let's give it a shot. How far along am I? I should be pretty close to the end. Wow. Almost 80%. All right, I'm going to use uh, some of these coins, see if I can't get something new. I'll see you in a bit. Got the exact same thing twice in a row. Oh, uh, things are starting to repeat more often. I don't like that. You shouldn't have. What am I going to get? Not something new. <gasps> and again. You spoil me, Mono Mono Machine. And it's not new. <laughs> Second lucky in a row. Okay. Don't even have to cut there. Is that new? Oh, that's definitely new. I did a third one! <laughs> what did I do? Did I break the machine? I don't think that's new. A fourth one? What did I do? <laughs> this is awesome! Oh, and it's not new. Oh, that's all you had? Well, okay then. Four for the price of one coin. Got one new item out of it. I like it. All right, made a major dent in this. Got a little under 12% left to get. And I only had to use a little over 50 coins, so not bad. There are a couple presents that I got that I want to check out. Mainly because of what they look like. I have no idea what they actually are. Uh, let me find one of them. Oh, and while I'm looking for it, I do want to stress that you can get a man's fantasy in the in the mono mono machine from the very beginning and you have to have this item to get the special cutscene in chapter three it definitely was my fantasy oh yeah some of you probably don't even know what this is Distribute a full-length novel based on what the world would look like if all of someone's dream came true. Hmm. Interesting. I might have to explain this later. So, I didn't get this specific item in this round, but I don't know how I missed this. A voice-changing bow tie. This originally belonged to a detective who has the body of a child, but the mind of a genius. The bow tie lets its user speak in a variety of voices. The... Uh, I'm trying to think of what anime this is parodying. I can't remember the name. You'll see something on screen. I think that's what it's going for. And if that's the case... Amazing. So, yeah! Flip the switch on the bottom to set the dull... Shaking. 
Apparently it's a kid's toy, but I don't really get the point of it. Could be used as an adult's toy. Just saying. Excellent, Muramasa! The strongest weapon ever made! It's great for dungeon diving and lets you warp through walls! Of course, it doesn't actually exist in this reality, so... But that's actually really funny. Muramasa is a blade of legend that's gone through you know, a bunch of different games. But the hilarious thing is, Muramasa the Demon Blade, I believe it's called Rebirth, is the Vita port. It has a reference to Danganronpa in it. It's either that or it has a reference to Virtue's Last Reward. A bunch of these games kind of, you know, have fun with each other's trophies and I really love it. So maybe this is a reference to Muramasa Rebirth. No idea, but I love it all the same. Zentetsuken. A sword that can't even cut through iron, or flesh, or anything really. In other words, <laughs> it's totally useless. Well, it's probably a good thing I only got one of them then. A small rose stored inside a test tube. It's good for both hellos and farewells. In the language of flowers, a red rose means passionate love. And if you don't find true love by the time the last petal falls, you will stay a beast. I really hope they're referencing that, or I just got that completely wrong. The water lover? Oh man. A competition swimsuit for women. Its design concept is to become one with the water, and it claims to increase swimming speed by 10%. Nice! Probably have to get that to Owie later. Okay, and that's it for now. I just wanted to look at some of the more interesting ones. There's one specific one I'm still trying to find, but as soon as I get it, I will definitely let you know. So, on the docket today, our main man who we weren't able to talk to during all of Chapter 3, which I'm so sad about. Taka, you are the man of the hour. Now I just need to find you. Hifumi, you will be next, but we'll probably do that when we transition to Chapter 3. Hey, what's up, buddy? You hear me? Huh? Well, I mean, do you want me to take my clothes off? What? Bear our souls, or what are you talking about? Right, bear ourselves. You understand? I will gladly show you everything. Yeah, let's spend some time with Taka. Count on it. <laughs> no. Well, well, actually, uh, from the way you were acting in Chapter Three, you really need something out of the ordinary. So fine, I'll do whatever you want. Just please, not that. Yes, definitely. I would love to give him a present because he has a. He doesn't have a lot of things that he would consider a material, but there is one thing that he absolutely loves. Max gloves! A pair of boxing gloves infused with a staggering amount of passion and effort. Wearing them makes you want to throw a thousand cross counters. The name is very specific, and the only thing I can think of is Little Mac. <laughs> Well, no problem, dude. I'm glad you like it. Hmm. Okay, uh, real talk. What do you want to talk about? I'm up for anything. Especially stripping down, apparently. You hear me? Oh, don't start talking about politics. No! <laughs> I said no on politics. Let's talk about you. Yeah, let's get to know each other, not through our religious or political beliefs. Like, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Are you sheltered? Yeah. Do you collect cards? I don't know. Listen to me. Oh, taking it to the full extreme. Taka, you sad, strange little man. All right, busy dude. You understand? 
Ah, so uptight. I mean, do you have a girlfriend? I mean, can we talk about something else? Yeah, what do you do in your spare time? Do you, you stare at the wall and watch paint dry? Sounds interesting. Hmm. Really? Like, studying's all you do? <laughs> uh, definitely not study. Grade A slacker right here. Yeah, normal guy stuff. Oh, well, um... Um... Don't hate me, please. You see, there's this F word that's not a bad word. It's called fun. That's wrong. It's for friends who do stuff together. The U is for you and me. Oh, I mean... In my spare time, I let's play visual novels. I wouldn't say it's completely useless. <laughs> to be honest, Saka, it's to relate to your friends. Yeah! It's a conversation starter. You get around the company water cooler and you talk about something other than paperwork. God, my real life job is boring. You watch that new dramedy on TV and you tell people how much it sucks. I mean, we could talk about how Monokuma made fun of us today. That's a conversation starter. I think we just blew up his mind. This is ridiculous! Oh, <laughs> uh, you, you have been sheltered, my poor boy. Allow me to show you the ways of the slacker. How unfortunate. I never knew how to be a conversationalist. Ooh, Taka's the kind of person who that kills conversations. So how about that uh, test material? Uh... I see. No, 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 no. The key word there was not study. Uh, right, just take study out of, the, out of the equation. You need to, like some games you have to experience, this being one of them. You're taking this way too hard, dude. It's just stuff. <laughs> taking studying to the max. Look, Taka. Chill out, dude. Yeah, it's. Look, let's just. Put you in a room, have you play Gears of War for five hours, and we'll see how uh, how much you've studied. <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it. Hey, Kyoko. I'm a professor. Hmm. Let me teach you the ways of Hope's Peak Academy. Taka approved. <laughs> As if they weren't already. Oh dear. Hmm. Uh, uh, salute. Uh, see you later, dude. You go do that non studying. Oh my god, what a wreck. It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like finally a title that isn't just boring. Yeah. Show that off to Aoi. And teach her the ways of, I don't know, walking properly? I don't know. 
Ooh, a tentative influence. Excellent. I am giving myself a pat on the back. I did earn it. And imagine that! Taka's in here! Woo! Hey, Taka, how you doing? Hey! Let's talk about stuff! I am your professor, after all. Allow me to teach you the ways, my friend. Exactly, it's what a professor is for. Quiet down and listen! Oh, please don't tell me your fan fiction. I don't want to hear it. I've got Hifumi for that. So let me tell you. In Five Nights at Freddy's, you are the villain! But that's just a theory. A game theory. Yes, definitely. Taka, your tastes are very interesting. You don't have a lot of items that you particularly like, but the ones you do are just red. We're starting a pattern here. A scarf belonging to a certain masked hero. It's tattered and worn due to the countless battles it's been through. So, I guess, not only the color, but just what they represent. A sense of toughness. A sense of order. So, and by the way, if you know what this is referencing, please let me know. I can't find anything. I mean, it could be... Proto Man? That's a stretch. Here you go, Taka. <laughs> oh, you adore it. Hmm. Yes, what is it, my friend? You hear me? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead, I'm ready. <sighs> I've been complimented! Oh, <laughs> sweet! Thank you! I don't think that would work. Yeah, okay! Go straight from a compliment to chastising me. What? I didn't know you were part of the fashion police, Mr. Moral Compass! They were just happy that I showed up in clothes. You understand? Oh, that's that's a very depressing line. <laughs> what what is that? It's like a compliment and an insult. Like right in front of you? I mean, I know we're in the dressing room, but dude. That's enough. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I really hope nobody walks in, or this is gonna look weird. Huh, um. It, uh. Bleh. Um. Do you think he'd buy any of these? How about. Uh. Oh, it's, uh. It's stylish, and it doubles as a raincoat. Yeah? Just hold on. Oh, of course not. Uh, um. Gotta think of something else. Uh, you hear me? Well, it does good for the top half. It doesn't have to cover my legs. That's what jeans are for. Nobody remembers an umbrella. You understand? But I don't wanna. All right, let's see if we can. Uh... Oh, this should be good. <laughs> I really hope this doesn't go over his head. Exactly! Something comes falling from the ceiling? I am so protected. This is so dangerous! Yeah! My head is completely protected. All that knowledge I've got... It's, uh, it's protected. I know I do. He's buying it. Hmm. <sighs> that was close. You hear me? 
What, so you can wear it? <laughs> you know, I agree with Taka on this. Like, I totally agree with this. Even if there is a dress code, nobody goes by it. Taki, you're talking like a 40-year-old man. Get back to your teen years, man. Like, loosen up. Listen to me! Oh no. I sense a seminar. Please no. Uh, well, he's he's looking pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the you uniform. Understand? Really? Like, you have no other clothes. Like, bam, that's it. Count on it. So, do you get pinched on St. Paddy's Day? So, what you're saying is, you don't know how to have fun. Got it! That explains everything. Hmm. I was wondering about that. Ten sets of the same uniform. Wow. What a dork. <laughs> Taka, man, I gotta take you out one night. We'll get you plastered. <laughs> this kind of is my uniform. It shows that I'm relatable. The everyman. Well, we know a bit more about Taka. I don't know if we wanted to, but hey, he's a proper dresser. He at least has that going for him. Where's Mr. Eyebrows? There he is! Hi, Taka! You hear me? But idle chit chat is what makes the world go round! Did you not learn anything from me? Shh, fine. <laughs> I hang out with you, I guess. Ooh, tea sounds great. Some cold green tea. Mmm. So good. Or maybe some regular green tea, maybe. Unfortunately, I don't have the other A items that Taka likes. He only has about four. So you got to see at least half of them. But let me show you something. One item that almost everybody absolutely adores. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. The fun plane. I've mentioned this in a video before, but literally across the board for every single person, this is a good item to give them if you don't have an A item. It's considered a B rank item. This is how much everybody loves this thing. And thankfully, I've got five. And if this is a reference to the PlayStation Vita, I'm getting close. I currently have two. Uh, Taka, please take one of these Vitas off my hands. It's either that or a Game & Watch. Nah, nah, man. It's all, it's all good stuff. It plays your games. You don't even need UMD anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'll call it. Uh, don't tell the cops. You hear me? Hey, no problem. You can play Persona 4 Golden on it. It's about the only thing you can play on it. Actually, I can't say that anymore. That's good. <laughs> Did you eat something bad for breakfast? Did Mondo punch you? What happened? <laughs> like, teachers and an open environment. Uh, windows, actual weather, more people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely missing the important stuff. <clears throat> Don't freak out on me now, dude. It's just knowledge. I mean, you can go to the library. There's plenty of stuff in there. 
And let me just show you the ways of having fun. You gotta be too cool for school. <laughs> Would you actually consider this skipping class? We haven't even gone to an actual class. How is this considered skipping? Deep healing breaths, Taka. We'll make it through this, man. So you still have that reputation, and you brought it over here against a bunch of interesting individuals. Yeah, you're not going to lose that level anytime soon. Yeah, it's not like me. It, oh. Did I touch a nerve? You hear me? Fight your way to the top from nothing. I like it. I agree. Whoa, whoa, hey. Some people born gifted. That is true. I was giving you credit where it was due. You worked hard for it. Hmm. I even brought you a uniform. <laughs> he don't know me very well, do he? <clears throat> We're cool, man. In other words... You want to work to be the best. You hear me? I can see where you're coming from. That is a really good moral to go with. If you don't try, well, nothing's going to happen. Hero. If you put in your time, you'll eventually get what you're fighting for. I want to know the rest of the story. It's not every day that somebody says this. Hmm. You're still doing your best. You've basically taken the leader position. You're doing all right. At least I think so. No, it was very intriguing. It's like I actually got to see the real you. That's what I wanted to see the whole time. Keep pushing for it, man. Effort breeds results.
We brought you back on track. That's what professors do. <laughs> you will not become a dunce! Words to live by, Kiyotaka. Yeah! Get back on that moral train. Woo woo, all the way back to the station. See, it's good to talk to people every now and again. I don't know how we even started that conversation. <gasps> yes! Finally, I'll learn something! You understand? Yeah! Go ordinary people! Pfft, those prodigies. Prodigies. I really do need a study session. Yeah, let's not uh, let's not say the G word around him, but I still do agree. Smart cookie. <laughs> he puts in more effort than I have in my entire life. I, I want to poke at that thought bubble. Why is genius the hot word? Might be a family thing. It might be a school thing. I, I gotta know. Maybe it's a rival. We should be able to find out here soon. And we get steel patience. Oh, another pat on my own back. Oh, thank you. There is always time for Taka. Oh, you're in a new position this time. What's going on, buddy? Uh-oh. Is it the fact that there's no reading material? No study books? Uh-oh. Um... We can skip them, I think. I don't think Monokuma is good at making tests. What the heck? Well, I mean... Besides the motives and everything, I, you can consider that a test. And uh, so far, two people have failed. Well, I guess in this timeline, one person has failed. We shall succeed. Taka, let's talk. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. Mmm, delicious tea. Luke, my boy. We shall have tea. And I will give you another interesting item that Taka... He sees this as a B ranking item, and it's actually right next to the fun plane. He loves to solve mathematical problems, which makes sense because, you know, he's putting in all this effort to become a straight-A student. These seven important mathematical problems were posed by the Clay Mathematics Institute, with a reward of one million dollars for each one solved. Dude! I, I doubt I'd even get as far as PEMDAS, but... Oh, Taka, go ahead and try these. Is it working? Please be my study buddy. I'm very happy right now. I'm glad you like it. Listen to me! Sounds like a plan. Teach me everything, Taka. I am not so smart. In fact, I spell smart S-M-R-T. But, but I'm your professor! Fine, you can be my teacher. Hmm. I want to see if Taka's kind of the... Like, if he's the type to make his bed and use a protractor to make sure it's straight. Maybe that's OCD. Maybe that's not, like, hey. effort. Oh, wow. It's a cool-looking room. Hmm. All right. 
Please let the question be, who do you like? <laughs> if given the opportunity, should I fuse with Mondo's spirit? <laughs> oh, good. I, I didn't study for this. I, I just wasn't ready. What do you got for me? Tell me the first 20 digits of pi. Oh, shit. <laughs> you ever get that feeling? They say it's easy, but it's really not. Oh, God. Taka, that's not easy. Uh, what country? F hmm. Asian country, huh? Too easy. Uh, no. Is it India? Hey, look at that! <laughs> Whew. You hear me? Yeah, the number zero. Yeah, infinite possibilities. Like the number zero. Empty. Whoa, hey. What are you talking about? Why do you hate the genius type? I mean, Byaku is a genius, and I do agree, he is a jerkwad. <clears throat> do you not like the smart people? Hmm. I mean, it was kind of obvious, but thank you. Arrival. Hmm. Uh, was? In other words, Toronosuke Ishimaru. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. What? Really? Never knew. No. <laughs> Connection didn't even sink in until now. Wow. Hmm. Pretty nice step up. <laughs> That's impressive. All right. But... Oh, no. An easily duped genius. Why? Hmm. Well, that's not fair. Jeez, he lost everything. He had fallen as low as he could fall. Man, that sucks. You hear me? Well, in his case, yeah, that was a tragedy. Down the longest flight of stairs imaginable.
You hear me? <laughs> that was very interesting, Taka. You don't know Hope Speak Academy very well. Or and their lottery system. Maybe you could call me a friend. <laughs> oh god, I could be of help. Yeah, we'll make this a moral place. Sounds good, teacher. Show me the ways. Wow, that was a really interesting story of his. So somebody that was basically handed greatness because of the word genius, and uh, he fell from the tallest mountain. And Taka wants to achieve greatness by his own hand. He wants to work for it. I can respect that. Thanks for the skill points, buddy. And let's go ahead and take a look at what Taka has given us. I was going to wait until uh, we look at Celeste and Hifumi's uh, social links, but I might as well do it here now. Increase the influence gauge by two. Ooh, very nice. Might have to use that later. And he also gave us Steel Patience. Reduces damage to the influ... Oh, cool! So, if you ever do take damage, you'll lose less. That's really nice. So, Steel Patience and Attentive Influence. Nice, nice! They're all about helping your influence gauge. So, if you ever need a buffer for your health bar, right here it is. All right, so we have taken a look at everything that Taka has to tell us. We have finished his social link. So next time on Danganronpa, we're going to take a look at Hifumi and Celeste, the other two victims of Chapter 3, and uh, get to know the rest of their stories. I can't wait to see one of them. I will see you guys next time. Danganronpa. <laughs>